cascade, shallow water pike fishing. You know, whether it's uh, shallow lakes, weed beds, creeks, shallow rivers, wherever their range is. These are the lures I use and I, I get the pictures and videos to back up that they work. Uh, spinner baits here. I like to run the maps. Uh, size 3 up to size 5 are good. The Aglias. Um, catch a lot of pike with those. Different colors and the water's murky. I like to use the uh, ones that are more fluorescent. When the water is clearer, I like to use the ones that are the shinier ones, different colors, even green. Uh, they work good. Uh, also, uh, with spinners, I like to use the uh, large, larger musky killers, too. These are MEPS. Um, I prefer MEPS. There's all different kinds. I'm sure they all work. Um, the ones that have the tandem hooks, uh, when I'm fishing shallow where there's lots of debris, I actually cut off the trailer hook and only fish with one. With the one hook, uh, I just chop them right off. Other spinners, I use their perfect where it's real shallow and lots of logs, lots of snags, or just regular bass spinners. I think those are, I don't know, maybe three quarter ounce. They'll bounce right off of logs. They travel like this and they'll bounce right off the log. Usually they don't get snagged. Of course if they wrap they'll get snagged. Same deal. Water's clear. A color like that. It's muddy. A dark color. In between. That's a perfect for in between. Uh, this, this one right here actually cost me a dollar at Walmart. Usually put a little rubber band around the, where you put the, the leader and it won't slide up and down. Um, I'm sure it wouldn't hold a huge pike, but they work for for most. I've never had one break. I've had them straighten them out, but never broken off. Uh, another favorite lure of mine um, are spoons. They get snagged more often, so I use lighter spoons. Uh, Mep Cyclops there, a couple other ones. Uh, <laughs> it's funny, this one and this one are actually trolling spoons. They use in the Great Lakes for walleye or steelhead or whatever they troll for. And then one of the ends is a saltwater spoon. It's just a basic solver. It works good. Um, either with a steady retrieve or if you're brave enough and you know you don't have very many snags you can do a jerk and let it sink, jerk, sink, jerk, sink. Um, and another one that's an old standby is the jerk bait. There's a Smithwick there in Oropala. Or Rapala depends on, I guess, what you're taught growing up, how to pronounce it. Uh, these are Excalibur ones. These are cheap. Uh, you can get them for less than four bucks. The hooks aren't as good, but these are the ones I use most because I lose a lot of lures. Um, same difference, blue. The blue and the, that color work good when the water's clear, when it's murky, I switch to the brass or whatever that is, bronze color. Uh, pretty cheap lures. Uh, this one's a suspending one, jerk bait, uh, for deeper water or when the river's high. Um, anywhere these uh, pike are at, don't be afraid. I catch most of them in small creeks. People, people don't even realize they're there. People say, well, you're you don't catch anything in there, all BS. I got the pictures to prove it. Uh, if it's more than 10 feet wide and 3 feet deep, uh, and it's in the pike's native range, <coughs> you'll ca you, they're in there. As long as they aren't too disturbed, uh, they're in there, trust me. Especially slow moving. Um, I've caught them on all the tributaries of the Mahoning, Grand River, uh, Tuscarawas River, Cuyahoga, um, all those uh, have pike in them. And if you look at uh, the state's guide, they'll tell you that most of those don't even have those fish in them. And they're there. 
uh, line twist is a problem with spinner baits and some spoons, especially inline spinners. There's a barrel swivel there. I'll run a barrel swivel at about six inches of a uh, 14 pound test before my leader. I use a wire leader. It'll still twist, but it'll help with the line twist from an inline spinner or spoon. It's a good hint. When you're fishing with these lures also, don't be surprised if these are, uh, you'll catch plenty of smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, uh, muskie. Uh, muskie are native to a lot of these streams uh, and rivers in northeastern Ohio, I'm sure, throughout the range. Um, cut carp, um, all kinds of stuff, nice crappies, white bass, white perch, whatever's in there. But, uh, makes for a good day of fishing. Um, if you're fishing from shore, these are the way to go. These bass spinners, uh, especially the cheap ones, the dollar ones at Walmart. Hmm. Fishing from shore, you're going to lose a ton of lures because you can't go out, like in a boat, you can't just paddle up and, and take them off, or a canoe, you can paddle right up and take them off. These are the way to go fishing from shore, unless you like spending a lot of money on lures. This is the man away pipe. Man away, eh? Not bad. <laughs> Try to bring it up here next to the boat. Oh, that's a nice one. 